Hi, today I'm going to show you a quick and easy way you can use um, Vedic astrology calculations in Python. So you can do complex uh, calculations in for Vedic astrology like match checking, uh, house signs, and and uh, almost any calculations that you can do. You can do it easily in Python using this uh, really cool open source uh, Python library that you can use. Actually, the library is in C Sharp, but it's been ported to Python and it, and it does work. Um, okay, let's so, so this is a quick video on how you can do that. So head over to PyDotPip and uh, you can search for this package and there you go, wait astro. So you can get started really easily just by using this command. So let's just, I'm just going to show you a quick demo on how you can do this. How we can, how we can have a basic uh, Python library and um, uh, make a complex Vedic calculations easily with without any uh, knowledge on on the technical parts of things. All right, so the whole thing's open source, and uh, so it's very easy to modify. So let's get started. So um, all I gotta do is uh, open up a new folder. All right, so I got a folder here. It's called VedaStrutaPython.demo. All right, it's just an empty folder. All right, so I'm gonna use Visual Studio Code for this. So I'm gonna right click on that. Uh, click show more options open with code there we go okay so once you have Visual Studio code running with uh, various with your template folder turned on so that as you can see the folder is empty so let's add a new file let's call it main.py okay so that's all it's, it's really simple from here on so let's open up terminal we let's run a quick uh, command and uh, before we do that uh, just because we are in Visual Studio Code, it's important to set up a Python environment and to select an interpreter. So let's click on the bottom uh, right hand side corner, we see selector interpreter, select interpreter, and we choose the latest Python we have. If not, it'll give you an option to install, and it's quite easy. Uh, once you've done that, you go to the command, I press command uh, win panel for Visual Studio Code, Control Shift P. All right, this will enable, enable us to create and create the Python create environment. So, you know, we, or if you don't have this option, you just type the Python, uh, the Python create environment, and you'll have this option, right? So this is this is what we're going to do. So this will enable. So this will ask you to uh, choose the Python environment. We're going to choose Venv, uh, not Conda, <laughs> and uh, we're going to choose uh, Python three. Uh, again, as you can see, I've installed my Python 3 from Microsoft Code, uh, from Microsoft Store. So it's really simple, and if you're here, I'll give you an option, and you can install it, and it's, and it's quite uh, yeah, easy to go. Okay, so once you've done that, uh, let's restart the terminal. Let's turn this off, because when you turn on the terminal, we'll have a WAN environment uh, ready to go. Let's see. yeah there we go okay so you notice the difference now we have a little uh, dot van meaning the van the, the, the virtual environment has been loaded and it's uh, working fine so now we can do a little pip install so now we're basically on the python environment virtual environment so pipe uh, pip install let's go back and uh, see what the command was uh, yeah, there we go. Pip install Vedastro. Okay, I'm gonna copy that. Uh, head back over to my code. Okay, pip install Vedastro. So these things are done. Um, okay, and I'm gonna I'm gonna hit enter, and uh, it's gonna install the Vedastro uh, library. And it's really small. You notice it's that's it. That's it. It's done. Like le less than less than a couple of seconds. Because it's a pretty small library, and uh, as you can see, also it uses Python.net, which is quite cool. Um, okay, so that's done. Let's close that. So now we can we are ready to code. We you know it's it's as simple as that. So I have some I have already made code ready to go, and uh, it's really simple. And of course, it's on it's on the links in the description for it uh, in GitHub right um, but the code is super simple in the beginning all we got to do is just import uh, the various calculators so calculators what are they different from objects so calculators are basically the logic they're basically static methods static functions that enable you to make a calculation on objects so what are objects objects are 
uh, groupings of data and that's all that's nothing much so geolocation for instance is just a, a name for a group of took for the for the for the data Tokyo the longitude and latitude so when you group this thing to uh, these three data points together we, we're gonna call it geolocation and that's it so that's so all those are basically what we call data wrappers uh, are under the category of objects okay so that's what you do in here we're importing all the data categories the sort of groupings of data there isn't many but there are some key ones that are absolutely necessary like time uh, person and uh, geolocation they are, they are key to the whole function the whole system working perfectly uh, and making it easy as well it, it really makes it super easy so um, okay then we have calculators calculators like I said is just logic function so let's go and see what we can do so it's pretty straightforward you know we have we have we load the names in uh, this is this is important to note that we're using day uh, month and then the year you know you can't change that order it's it's set so no, it doesn't matter uh, like which country you're in uh, it'll always be day month and year and it won't be the other way around it's hard set and we want to do that maintain consistency and we don't have to do multiple versions and there's no confusion so always remember the day month year and this time is a 24 hour system and we're using the standard time zone at the birth location all right so if you are in europe it will be plus two you know it doesn't matter whether you're in germany or whether you're in france it'll be it's going to be plus two because that's the standard time used by the people there so that's what this means num this number means it's not the local uh, mean time zone or you, you know i guess you could call it utc yeah it would be utc so the local standard standard time that everybody uses the location why because when you're doing calculations yes we're going to use the actual time but that'll be calculated by these numbers right here so these numbers are going to be uh you know calculated accordingly to geolocation and we're going to get the final uh geolocation but and it's all part of the system so so it makes your life easier by just putting in um uh, the local standard time and making sure that your longitude and latitude is correct so we just do that and the rest of the calculations will align perfectly and it's important that you get that right as well uh the next part is just a, it's just a simple wrapper for person nothing much um you know it's just a simple person object uh, if, if you key in the if you key in the user id that you that you have on your uh Vedastro website then you can link the data from there and here so for instance on the Vedastro website um if i go in here and i and i go to my person list right i have a person a lot of uh people here and i and i want to be able to view them or manipulate them or or um edit their details for python code and i can do that by just maintaining my person id so if you go into if, if you go into your account info you will have your api key located in there and uh, you will be able to type that api key here and meaning that this person will be synced uh, add to that person on the main database else you're just running it on local and it's fine you can just put it at 0101 as a uh, just a public uh, user ID uh, it's not important if you, if you don't have a database it's not important just put a random number it's fine maintain 0101 for consistency and 1234 it just means that the data is uh, not needed but we sort of need it because it's it's a wrapper like i said it's a wrapper so maybe in the future we'll clean this up but for now it's gonna it's staying there okay so that's it you know it's really simple all you gotta do is prepare the uh birth time location uh the person is not necessary is optional not all calculations are needed and then you can do your calculation it's really that simple so for instance i want to know if saturn is in aries so all I gotta do is type in the time and I gotta say this is uh, Muhurtam so meaning that it calculates if Saturn is in, is, in, is in Aries at a given time in a place for a person so as you can see so it has two, op you know, two inputs it means that time object is the now time and uh, Romeo will have the birth time pumped in but right now we're just gonna do a little you know because to make things simple we're gonna use the same birth time but this is a Murta calculation, so in Murta this time would be different. And it's a simple calculation. It simply says did it happen or did it not happen? So it makes it takes your life, makes your life so much more simpler by not worrying 
about how to do Saturn in Aries and all that. So what else can we do? We can change this to Sun. Look at that, and that it, and that's it, and it'll work. You know, it's really that simple. You know, you can change this to uh, Leo, for instance, and it'll work. Look at that. So it makes your life simple. You don't have to worry about the underlying calculations. There are a lot of them. You know, you can go to the uh, library in uh, in uh, in GitHub. And uh, you can see the n number of calculations that you have. There's a lot of calculations here. So go through the main main calculator list and uh, there's a lot of them. You can pick one. So uh, let's get back to the code. Okay, so next we have uh, Saturn and Aries. So this is just a little print. So it's going to just print if it's occurring. So there's a lot of, uh, in this calculation, there's a lot of data inside. And we're just going to pick out one data called occurring. So you know when you have time you know you pause the data run it in debug mode uh, let's do it now let's do it now let's do it now and see what we get um, there we go so right now we, we hit it reading a data, data point and look at that it just calculated it so inside occurrence let's see it's false uh, yeah Sun Aries yeah there we go so inside Sun let's see local variables what we have here on the left hand side Saturn in Aries. There we go. So it has a few. It has a few calculus. For instance, it has the related body. So that contains uh, the related bodies of the of the event. So this what I'm trying to say is there's a lot of data in here, and you can sort of pause and go in and then figure out whichever data that's most relevant to you. Like uh, you know, it's not just uh, because it's important C sharp. There's a lot of stuff that you can't see, but it's there. Um, Let's see. Okay, so option two is this is what we call a high level function. Then we have something called a low level function. So low level functions are functions going to the straight to the astronomical calculator uh, located in C sharp. So this function actually lives on the C sharp method. Get Lord House, Lord of House. Just as I showed you before, it's right here. So you want to know more? For instance, get plan linear and long term. So this right now, look at this. I want the Vedastro main repo, right? So library manages calculate astronomical calculator CS. <laughs> right and uh, I have this calculation so I can just copy this right this, so this is a calculation that comes out inside so there's a massive this is a massive list you know you can go through the whole list we split the list into three pieces because it's so big you know it's so big that we gotta split them out to split three pieces so it's a massive list go through them and uh, and, you, and you, once you find calculations that you want for instance let's pick out this one and uh, you just come in so we're back in the Python environment right and it's so simple and I can just switch this in and you know make sure you get the uh, variables right so I'm gonna stick with the original sample here get a lot of house um, get a lot of house one so this is another house one house one so this you know it's it, it just again referencing straight to the um, C sharp code so in C sharp you can see you know you can just switch this on to house 12 house 10 and so on you know, it makes uh, it's it's really simple and uh, so you're going to print out the code so we're going to print out what it says if house one lord the name of the planet so in this case it should be it should be venus or something uh and then of course if option three uh, we have ability to calculate get match report so on the website if you head over to the website, you have this massive calculations. If you do a match report calculation for a person, you have this massive data points that you receive. So all these data points that you see here, it's available via simple command in Python. There we go. This this little command right here will get you all that data that we see here. But right now we're only going to print out the Kuta score. But actually, if you pause the script and you look inside uh, this variable, you will find all the data that you see here is available uh, in that in that one simple Python calculation. This is done uh, via API on the server, but you have the same the same uh, full capacity, the same code basically running for this, uh, running behind this function as well. You know that's the beauty of this whole thing. It's like you have the full power of the Vedastro calculator, everything that's possible in the website. You have it possible. So let's switch over and run this code file. So that's it. You no, know, it's a really simple code file. Okay, there we go. Look at that. It's done. So Saturn is in Aries. You know, the first calculation that we did, uh, you know, right. The first calculation that we did up here. Uh, Saturn is in Aries. You know, it says, okay, Saturn was not in Aries. It was a false. 
house one was uh, the lord of the house one is mercury uh, it was in it was in venus i guess I, I guess we changed the time just now so it should be mercury here all right because it is early we had a different time zone okay so let's see we save that in um that's it is total score so if you did and and of course as you know we just little do a little we cheated a little bit we just hit romeo and julia at the same time so obviously 20 percent is uh is, is not logical it happens only in cases where obviously where you input sort of wrong data it happens in real life also i guess but uh in this case if you always input the same data you get like 20 percent so yeah but it shows that it is technically theoretically possible to calculate match for two uh, identical people and you would technically get a score <laughs> uh okay and that's it it's as simple as that. This shows how you can run complex Vedic astrological calculations straight uh, in Python, and it's uh, simple and it's easy. Uh, and, and it doesn't get—I guess it doesn't get easier than this. And the whole—the whole code is open source. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to drop them in uh, in the comments or head over to our source code, our repo source code, and uh, place your issues there, and we'll know uh, to fix them. There's a lot of there's a lot of imp there's a lot of improvements to be done, um, and uh, we'd love to hear your comments. And uh, thanks for watching.